Well, springtime will be here before you know it, and that means time to work on your garden. Here with Spring Gardening Tips is Ben Fuda from The Botany Shop. Welcome. Thank you. Good to be here. I'm telling you, my partner John is like you, like with the plants, <laughs> and my refrigerator is full of seeds, and I absolutely hate it. So I can't wait for spring to spring, sprung, totally. to be sprung, whatever, so that all of this can start happening. Absolutely. And so for those of you who like gardening, um, <clears throat> Ben's your guy. As we said, he's a local expert. Yes. And so what do you got for us today? Well, if you are digging in this year, you know, it might feel good to know that you're one of the numbers I've seen are between 16 and 21 million new gardeners since 2020. Oh. Uh, so people are really still digging in in great ways. So we are trying to cover all the bases. Seed starting supplies, we have these little greenhouses and sort of seed kits so that if you only need to start a dozen things, yeah. you oh. aren't stuck with all of this extra space. You can oh, sort of smart. do it in smart, you know, small increments. We have seeds, we have these awesome little ranunculus starts here. These are great early spring cut flowers. They kind of look like, you know, under seawater creatures. Well, they do kind of. Right here. So and you'll so you'll soak them overnight to get them a jump start and then put them in the ground. So they need to rehydrate first mm. um, before they actually go out. So, but. I, these are really cute. Ranunculus. 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 Yes. It's like ridiculous. In the buttercup family, yes. Yeah, but and these are iceberg white. So these little bags are so cute. And so what am, oh and oh they even come with a little come with a little label so you, know so you can remember what you planted. That's so important. Because yes. you know you walk through people's garden, they're like, what's that? I don't know. Yes, yeah, so well even starting seeds, it's like when it's this big, unless you know, labeling matters <laughs> it very does, much. Right. Yes. And so what so we know spring is around the corner, but this is something that you can do now. Absolutely. We are in the height of seed starting season. So people are in our shop every day grabbing their seeds. Um, you know, also all those COVID gardeners, seeds have been in short supply the last couple of years. So if you want to start things from seed. Chain gets even the gardeners. It does indeed. So if so, you want your seeds, get on it soon. What, what do you do with this thing? Like, so this is part of this whole kit up through here. So this mm -hmm. is where you would actually put your seeds. It you put sits, a little dirt in there? Yep, fill it up with soil. It mm -hmm. sits inside this green container. The greenhouse goes over the top to maintain yeah. humidity. And there's your little at-home greenhouse without needing to build a greenhouse. So. Oh, I love that. I'm going to have to remi remind John of that. So I, <laughs> we have a, we're building a house and we have a greenhouse as part of the plan. But Ben, you're, as a local expert, you don't say, I don't even need it. Well, I mean, So depends. I'm so happy you've it done such a service It depends on the size today. of what you're going for. Ben, what is this? This is this one of my favorite favorite tools. This oh my God, look is at a this. soil knife. And so knife. this is sort of the, I call it the Swiss Army knife of uh, outdoor gardening. So the yeah. serrated edge is awesome for dividing perennials this spring. Okay. It has a little ruler on the other side. So if you're planting bulbs or garlic or anything like that, you know exactly how deep you're going. Depending on how you like to garden, this little notch is either a twine cutter or bottle opener, depending on how you Oh, you can like have a beer while Absolutely. you're doing it. That might yes. make it more appealing. And a single piece of steel, so it doesn't have any weak spots. It's not going to bend or break or, you okay. know, need to be replaced in a year or two. So is this a shovel? Like you it can use be. it as yes. a spade or You whatever? can use it as a trowel. Absolutely. Ooh, all the words. It does all the things. Well, this, and, and, and if you, you know, meet some unsavory character in the garden, you can just. Yep, there you go. There we go. <laughs> Love that. So I have. Oh, Soap, gardener soap. Yes, yes. Everybody this has is, their own soap. Well, it is, but this is specially made for us in our shop by Raw Oats. She's one of our local makers. Oh. Um, and we asked her to sort of create this. Not only is the scent inspired by our shop, um, but it's actually formulated with sort of bigger aggregate granules to help cake. You know, I always garden with gloves myself, mm -hmm. but if you're one of those people who really likes to feel the dirt, but then it's stuck to you for several days, right. this will help to really get that dirt out of all and, the nooks and crannies. And is this soap? That is a cookie, actually. Oh, that's a cookie? Yes, and I oh. bought it because that is another of our local makers, Cal Lily Shut Cookie. Up. And she does a different uh, make and model every week for us, but they're just Look always the beautiful little works of art. It they is. They feel like spring, you know, in a, in a little in a little package. They do. And you know what? This is this would be great for an Easter basket. Absolutely. Yes. And the, so, I mean, like Easter Man, basket, just... she'll, she'll be ramping them up for Mother's Day. So we'll have all kinds of great goodies for Easter and Mother's Day. Absolutely. I love that. I tried to come to your shop one time, but you, our, our, our timing was off. To, well, we've so, added hours now oh, as good. well. So, so tell me about that. We're open uh, 10 to 6, Tuesday through Sundays. Oh. So the only days we're closed now are Mondays. You're the hardest working man in we're hustling. Floral Absolutely. Stuff. I love that. So it's so why you're a local expert. I <laughs> I do my and best. Tell me where you're located. Or, well, I know because I've been there, but tell the folks at home. We are at 909 Portage Avenue in South Bend. And okay, and I did do this in the window when I was there, and it's so cute. Thank you. And we I keep, mean, it keep so moving cute. and rearranging. Re we can't help ourselves. Well, and as so. people come and get stuff, you've got to replenish. Absolutely. And so there's always something new and blooming mm -hmm. and coming to 
life. Absolutely. I love that. And so you have a website? We do, botanyorbust.com. Botanyorbust.com. It's right there on the screen. And of course, you can always find them on Facebook as well. Boy, I, I'm all about these cookies. I can't even, the fact that I thought it was soap is hysterical, but it's a great thing. And they're I, tasty. They're delicious. Yeah, yeah. They, well, they look really good. And there's just so many opportunities. You know, this whole time, so many times Mother's Day is around the corner that some, it's like hard to find something for mom. This is a great opportunity and it's local. So yes. check it out today. The information is right there on the screen. Coming up, it's the 30th anniversary of the Expo for Women. Find out